Hi, today's video is extension part of latest video of this channel. That is double staining method of Dracaena stain. Please watch this before for practical guidance where we could observe microscopic features. Today we are going to learn its internal structure with help of diagram drawing. So stay with us till the end of the video. Let's learn. Normally, due to the absence of cambium, the monocotyledonous stem does not have any sort of secondary growth in thickness. However, some monocotyledons belonging to the family Liliaceae, like this sample Dracaena, exhibit a peculiar type of secondary growth due to the formation of cambial layer in the subepidermal region and also just outside the vascular bundles. Inner cambial layer produces conjunctive tissues with some scattered secondary vascular bundles, which encircles the primary vascular bundles. The secondary vascular bundles are, as usual, amphivasal. The outer cambial layer, however, produces three to five layers of cork cells and lies just below the epidermis. This is the single layered ruptured epidermis here and there and it is cortex and it is mostly parenchymatous externally bounded by three to five layers of cork cells as i already said and internally by a cambial layer which produces conjunctive tissues and now these are the vascular bundles and these are the collateral and closed type the primary bundles are scattered at the central region of ground tissue and the secondary bundles are differentiated from conjunctive tissues and there is no path. So we could comment on the anatomical features of this monocotyledonous stem section that this specimen shows secondary growth with the reasons are presence of indiseriate cuticularized epidermis and with presence of three to five layers of cork cells presence of conjunctive tissues with secondary vascular bundles and the primary vascular bundles are scattered and the vascular bundles are collateral and closed type so we can conclude that the structural anomaly may be directly influenced by external environmental conditions and the woody climber and the storage organ show structural anomaly as well as abnormal secondary growth in thickness as they are different from the normal ones from morphological and physiological points of view. At the same time, there are many cases of anomalous conditions which are not influenced by the environment and appear to be merely cases of variations of the design. These two cases are also called adaptive and non-adaptive anomalies of secondary growth in thickness. This is it for today's video. We will bring more plant anatomy video in future. Till then, stay with Paper Pen Biology and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you for your patience.